Free on board is a code that is found on many invoices. The phrase free on board isn't obviously meaningful. Some people think it means freight on board, but even still, what does that phrase mean? Free on board is the place where title transfers from seller to buyer. Title means ownership. It's important to know exactly who owns the cargo and in which second the ownership transfers from seller to buyer. Because if there is a problem with the cargo, if it gets damaged or stolen, somebody has a problem and we need to know exactly who has that problem. Let's take as an example, a shipment from the Port of Ensenada to the port of Livorno, Italy. Here's an invoice and it says FOB Ensenada. <clears throat> Sometimes you don't have to actually say the port name. You could say shipping point and it would be inferred that it's coming from Ensenada. So you could use the specific place like Ensenada, Mexico, or you could use the generic inferred term shipping point. <clears throat> or if it's FOB Livorno, you could say FOB destination. Or you could say the more specific FOB uh, Livorno. Sometimes we use the more general uh, terms because we don't always know what port we will unload at. If there's some kind of port problems, we might, uh, we might move to a different port of Italy, for example. And so it's where... Italy is where it's going, and uh, if we in route make uh, agreement with the, the buyer to change ports, then we have all that freedom to do so. Now, <clears throat> if it says FOB in Sonata, it is assumed that the Mexicans would pay all the costs getting the cargo through customs onto the, the, the vessel that is going to Italy. The buyer pays everything uh, after the cargo is placed on the ship in Ensenada. At that point, when the cargo is uh, completely on board and documentation is passed between the ship and the uh, seller, then the Italians will own this cargo while it sits in the, on the ship in the port of Ensenada. And if that boat should sink right there in the port, it's the Italians that own that, that cargo. So who pays the freight? <clears throat> well, the answer is whoever owns the cargo pays the freight, although everything is negotiable. But generally speaking, whoever owns the cargo pays the freight. So in this case, it's FOB in Sonata, so the Mexicans would put the the cargo on board the sh ship in Ensenada, and the buyers would pay the freight. Uh, if it had said, if the invoice had said FOB Livorno, then the Mexicans would be paying the freight to get it to Italy. So to go from Ensenada, the ship has to go through the Panama Canal and across the Atlantic to Italy. What if the, what if the boat sh uh, sinks in route? Who owns the cargo? Well, if it's FOB shipping point, then the Italians own the cargo. It's the Italians, the buyer's problem. But if it was FOB destination, then it would be the Mexican or the seller's problem if the boat were to sink. Of course, the cargo would be insured, but you don't easily collect from insurance companies. You will have to actually sue the insurance company to uh, collect on, on these um, very unusual cases. <clears throat>